Hey everyone, welcome to part one of my unboxing and first impressions of the Canon Image ProGraph TM240. I had to make this into a two-part video so that the video wouldn't be so long. In this first part, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video of the printer, the stand in the basket. I'm going to show you how to assemble the stand as well as set up the printer, install the print drivers, and our first prints. I hope you enjoy. Hello everyone, it's your girl Javaya with Gifting Hands by Javaya. Welcome back to another video. If you are new, hey y'all, hey, welcome. If you are a returning subscriber and a part of the Gifted family, the Gifted gang gang, <laughs> welcome back fam, welcome back. Before we get into today's video, please excuse the mess that you see. It is a lot going on right now. It is very chaotic. I am in the process of remodeling my studio and I have a lot of equipment and supplies and honestly, I am outgrowing my space. But you gotta work with what you got. So we are transforming the room to make it more functional and aesthetically pleasing, you know, trying to give it a cute little vibe as well. And with graduation season here and I get super busy, it just needs to make sense for me to work and produce products and be efficient and effective. And so that's what we're working on right now with my studio. So excuse the mess, okay? And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already because I am going to do a video showing you the finished look. So you don't want to miss that. Now let's get into today's video. I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing my very first 24 inch pigment ink printer by Canon. It is the Canon Image Pro Graph TM240 and y'all, I am so excited. I can't deny it. Woo! First of all, I've come to the realization that your girl, Javaya, is a printer geek. Okay, I have a printer obsession and the first step is acknowledging that you have an issue. Okay, now again, if it's a good issue, that's subjective, but I love printers. Okay, and I have a bunch of printers. But anyway, this printer is super special because number one, my husband brought it for me. He surprised me just the other day with the printer. Now, I've been in the market searching for a 24 inch printer for quite some time. And the reason being is I have a Cricut Venture that my husband also surprised me with last year. So big shout out to the husband. You know, I have an amazing husband. He's my number one supporter. I love him to death. Baby, thank you so much for everything you do and being a part of this village, okay? It's important to have a strong support system. But anyway, I have a Cricut Venture. And for those of you who do not know what a Cricut Venture is, a Cricut in general are die cutting machines by Cricut, which is the brand. The Cricut Venture is Cricut's latest and greatest and fastest and largest die cutting machine out of the Cricut family, and it cuts up to 24 inches. Now, not only does it cut 24 inches, it has a print and cut feature as well that allows you to print and cut large. And I have a bunch of wide format printers. However, it only allows me to print up to 13 inches wide. I'm speaking about the printers that I have. And I want to be able to use my Cricut Adventure to its full potential. And with that being said, having a larger printer, such as the 24 inch printer that I have, will help me do that. And then in addition to that, I want to be able to offer other products to my consumers such as posters and banners and fat heads and all of that good stuff so having a larger printer of this sort is going to be perfect hopefully and i really want to elevate my business so i'm hoping that this printer is going to do very well for me now this right here isn't the actual printer this is the stand and the baskets the printer is actually out of the box and it is over here in the corner waiting to be test it out and unbagged okay and i'm just really really excited now before i even made this decision to go with this particular model i've done a lot of research okay a lot of research my research is not surface level research it is extensive and is i dive deep 
especially when it comes to making a business investment. This is a business investment. And I wanted to make sure that I was going to be making a sound and wise business decision to fit my business needs. And as I'm researching about this particular model of the Canon printer, I honestly did not have a lot of luck finding, a, excuse me, finding information. There weren't a lot of information on this particular model. There weren't a lot, a lot, there weren't a lot of tutorials and it just wasn't a lot of information. Unfortunately, I ended up calling Canon just to, you know, ask more questions and to confirm my decision. But other than that, it wasn't a lot of information. So I am honestly going to be learning and growing with this printer as I go. And I'm not mad at it. I'm actually excited because we get to learn and grow together. And in fact, this printer may be a printer that you need or you may want, I should say, for your business. So stay tuned, let's learn and grow together. If you are interested to learn more about this printer and see how well it performs and all of its specifications and demonstrations, stay tuned. If you find any of my content of any value, please consider subscribing to my channel, giving me a thumbs up, and turn on the bell for notifications so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Now I'm gonna stop rambling, okay? I'm gonna stop rambling and we're gonna get into this video. Let's go. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna start off with trying to set up the stand for the printer. And I just brought it down to the ground. I'm just going to, it's not heavy at all. I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit so I could just cut the tape so that it's easier for me to just open the box. Okay, let's see. Over here. Okay, so some tape right here. I'm just gonna open this. Not open it, slice it, I mean. <laughs> and then we can open it and we get the back side. Okay. Now I gotta get the other side. Woo! This is a workout, baby. This goes to show that I need to get my tail in the gym. All right? But it's not that heavy. So now I think I removed all of the tape or cut all the tape. So let's see if we can lift this up. Okay. Let's move this out the way. So inside of the box, we have some instructions. I think. Okay, yes. We got some instructions here. Oh, Lord, sweet baby Jesus. Help me out. I don't have PJ here to help me, so I'm going to try to figure this out all on my own, unless my mom wants to extend the helping hand. <laughs> but anyway, we have um, the baskets. Oh, this is very thin. Not thin, light. It's light. Baskets. We have this piece, which I don't know what this is yet. Okay, so another compartment here. Put that over there. Okay. Then we have, let me show you. Has like orange tapes and metal pieces here. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the orange tape. Okay. This looks like it's the base because I see the wheels here on the bottom. metal well with one metal bar here the other metal bar is here which is for the other base the other part okay so we have two of these and is there anything else okay 
We have some screws that comes in this little baggie here. And that's it. So now I'm just laying all of the pieces out. I'm removing the remaining of the orange tape, removing the foam, and laying out all of the pieces, ensuring that I have everything, making sure that I have all of the screws and instructions handy so we can get this thing assembled. Okay, so now that we have all of everything laid out and ready to go, I'm going to just go ahead and follow the instructions, which looks pretty easy to me. So... I'm going to take the left stand leg and these are all labeled. It has the letter L right here. So this is the left stand and the other one has R for right. Okay. I'm going to stand this up like so. This right here is called the stand stay. This piece right here. And these are also labeled. This is an engraved L and an engraved R. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these hooks here, right? And I am going to align them up into those slots right there, the slots in the rear of the stand L. Just like so. Just hook it in so it's, it snaps in like this, okay? Now I'm gonna have my desk help hold this up real quick. Cause I'm doing this alone. So I'm gonna just have my desk hold this up like this and snap this in. Okay. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take R and I don't know if you guys are going to be able to get it on the, see it on the camera, but I'm just going to hook the hooks from R and do the same thing. There we go. So now this is locked into place like so, okay? You are looking at the back of the stand slash basket, all right? This part is done and we can move on to the next step. Let's see. So now it is time to attach the basket, okay? So I'm gonna grab the basket. This is it right here and I'm going to unravel it. It is very lightweight. The fabric is also very thin that I, I like that as well because it's only going to be catching paper and certain media that's not super heavy. So I'm going to turn this around so that now the stand is facing towards the front like so. The basket has these two bars and in the front of the stand we have these metal bars here. We're simply just going to just place the two black bars inside the, on top of the metal bars like, like so, and push it down until you can't push it down any further, just like so, okay? Now in the back of the fabric, there are three slits. It's this slit right here on the right hand side. There is one in the middle and then one on the left hand side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you to the back of the stand to show you our next steps. All right, y'all, so here's the back of the stand and this is one piece here, one piece here, and one piece here. These are the hooks. Okay, so we're going to take our fabric and as you can see up close and personal, there's that slit and literally we just insert the fabric and uh, slide it through the hook right there. So I'm going to do the same for the middle. Find the slit, slide that through and then the same for the last. And now our basket is assembled. Now I wasn't too sure if it was supposed to hang like this, but I'm thinking like, okay, it's only going to be catching paper and medias that's not super heavy. Um, though the printer can accept heavy 
media is still paper so we don't need anything you know uh bonded to the metal or anything so this is pretty pretty good pretty dope just like this and now our stand is all assembled this is what it looks like okay and then right here on the top is where we will put my printer but i do need help with that so <laughs> here we go super easy to assemble the stand and here is the beautiful Canon Image Pro Grab TM240. We took it out of the box because the box was adding additional weight and it was on a pallet that I didn't want to bring inside of my house. So we just literally took the printer out and we took the box with all of what's included out as well. And I'll go over that. But this was the box that was included inside of the box with the printer. And so, yeah, let's get this baby going let's get it going pj and i went ahead and removed the plastic cover then we asked my mom for an extra pair of hands to place the printer on the stand and that was pretty self-explanatory it was very easy not too hard at all okay guys so move you guys back so you can see so you're going to have four of these um screws these are the main screws for the printer and then you're going to have eight of um some other hex screws okay so now it's going to screw these into the printers following the instructions as necessary this is the smaller ones the hex screws and there should be eight of these okay all right So now we're just trying to see where these hex screws go um, on the instructions. I don't really say. Oh, it says, hold on, I'm just in the back. Yeah, it don't say where the other ones go. It just tells us where the four go. Mm, extra maybe? Let's look under the printer to see if we can find a place. We've come to the conclusion that the eight hex screws are extra. So we're just gonna put it back in this packaging with the Allen key. We looked under the printer, everywhere under the printer, just to make sure we wasn't missing any spots. And we couldn't find a location for these, so we're just not going to use them right now. But the printer is definitely secured on this stand because we did use the four main screws that came with the uh, with the printer and the stands. Okay, so that's good. So now I'm taking off the orange tape that's on the printer. It was orange tape everywhere. And of course, it is there to keep the printer safe during transit. Here's a little ASMR action. <laughs> oh, I got to cut these right here. okay and then this is the spindle where the paper goes this is for the paper slot okay i'm liking this so far okay canon all right and cartridges let's see what this okay okay canon all right, y'all, so now we have our printer up, everything is in place, and it is time to go over all of the products that came with the actual printer. Remember, I took this out of the box, and now it's time to see what is inside. So here is a white envelope. It was here, I just grabbed it real quick. And inside we have some information about Canon printers, some other 
uh, models of the Canon printers. Then we have the registration card. This is pretty new. I never done a manual registration card. I'm gonna do this on the website, but we have that. And it says to fill it out, to register your Image Pro and then send it back to them. And it has a address in the back. We have customer support, telephone number and information. We have, of course, the Canon Image Pro Graph installation guide booklet. Okay, so that's pretty good. Has the uh, TM models, so that's pretty dope. Then we just have some other information, safety guide information here. It says Canon has the right media for you. So, you know, you can produce posters, bulletins, banners, signs, announcements, and more. So it's a little flyer here. And then this is some more information in different languages. So safety guides and different languages, okay? So that came with this white envelope here. And I'm just going to put this over to the side real quick. Okay, and then we have this right here. This is actually the piece, the left side of the spindle, the long bar that we install our... Um, media we load our media with so this is for the left hand side okay that's what it looks like what else we got in here so many different compartments here we have what is this this might be the print head y'all so let me go ahead see. okay let me open this up p f o six six one yep this might be the print head okay Yes, it is. So this is the print head. Okay. It smells like permanent marker. <laughs> it has a, a smell to it. Okay. So I got my print head here. Yep. And it says print head right here on the label. All right. And what else we have? This way. So many compartments. Canon. With the organization. Okay, so we have our adapter. What else? Oh, okay, they gave us ink cartridges, okay? So we have yellow, black, magenta, cyan, and matte black. So we have a total of five ink cartridges, okay? And I remember when I first was researching about this printer, I was a little concerned about how small the ink cartridges are because they only, they only offer 55 milliliters. They don't have other options for larger ink cartridges, but we'll get into that um, later on in the video, why it is important to know what kind of printer you're getting to look at the print resolution and all of that good stuff because it actually makes sense to have this cartridge size for this printer. We'll get into that. Anything else? That's it. Empty. Okay, y'all. So here is where our power cord will go. I'm just going to just insert this in here like this. It is on the side of our printer. And then I'm just going to take this and then plug it in to my socket over here. Let's see. Okay, there we go. Put this in the back. And I'm gonna have to find a better system for this like this. But this is how it's gonna have to be for now. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn this on. It's a nice size right here. Okay, TM240. Adjusting the printer to make it ready for printing. Please wait momentarily, y'all. I'm so excited. She is really, really, really pretty. Okay. So I can hear it initializing. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and select my language, which is going to be English. And my time zone. Uh, I don't know what this negative means. Okay, I'ma just um, 
because I don't know what these what these mean. Your girl was over there struggling with the time zone. <laughs> but I went ahead and just continued to follow the prompts and answered all the questions and so on and so forth. Okay, so now it's time to install the inks. So what I'm going to do is right here, this is where the inks will go. So I'm going to open this up like so. And you can see we have all of the inks here. And now I'm just going to go in and install each of these cartridges according to its color. I'm going to put this camera back on the tripod so that I can do this real quick. Actually, before I put my camera back on the tripod, I'm just going to show you how to load one of them. So you want to make sure that you can see the initial of your ink color facing you. And you're just going to insert it into its perspective spot. Okay, and you're going to close it. Now it's going to have a little resistance, okay? So don't be alarmed. And you're gonna just click it into place like that, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same for all of the other colors now. Now I'm installing the matte black here. And I want you to pay attention to each time I install a specific color, it tells me here on the screen, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. Close that down. And then right here, close the ink tank cover so I'm gonna close this up all right the following genuine Canon ink tanks has been installed so I'm going to go ahead and click on okay and now it's processing y'all it's really happening for us whoop 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 now it's telling me to open the top cover so let me just remove all of these release the okay yeah so okay so this right here is the top cover let me just put this back and now it's telling me to release the print head lock lever okay so this is the print head lock lever so i'm going to pull this one down all right and then lift this one up because that's where that's what the arrow is telling me to do all right and then i'm going to go ahead and click on okay Take out the print head and remove the orange. I missed it. <laughs> okay, so now it's telling me to put in the print head. So let me go ahead and put in the print head real quick. So I went to go grab the print head right here. So this is the print head. And I believe it was telling me to remove the orange cover from it. Just like so. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this over to... The print head okay and let's see so it's these gold contents here and I'm going to just insert it in like this with the label facing me okay so that's in there and then I'm going to pull this one down that first lever down and then this one up like that lock the print head locker lever okay so that looks good so i'm gonna go ahead and close the top cover because that's what it's telling me to do and y'all i think we did it i think we did it it says processing please wait momentarily y'all okay so now it is telling me to select the connection method so i'm going to just try to do it with my wi-fi connection do you want to connect computer or smartphone to the printer with Wi-Fi. I'm going to say yes. Do you want to set up Wi-Fi using a tool from a computer or a smartphone? Sure, why not? All right, there it goes. Now it's time to install the drivers. Let's go. So here I am on the Canon's website. And the very first thing I'm going to do is locate my printer. So I'm going to type T. M, and then it's going to come right up here, TM240, and then I'm going to click on go. From here, we're going to set up our printer because I have Windows, and then I'm going to click on download to start the setup, and then I'm going to follow the on-screen instructions to complete the setup afterwards. So I'm going to click on download. Once it's finished downloading, I'm going to go ahead and double click this. And then I'm going to allow the application to make changes to my device. So I'm going to click on yes. Then I'm going to go ahead and 
select my language, which is English, then click on OK. Select your place. Select your place of residence, USA, Canada, Latin America. I'm going to click on OK. So here is the license agreement. You want to go ahead and read the agreement. Make sure you agree to all of the terms, policies. Then I'm going to go ahead and click on yes. And then for using services related to Canon products, you want to also read this information to ensure that you agree. And I'm going to go ahead and click on agree. So now we're saying to check the power and make sure that the printer is turned on and which it is. So I'm going to go ahead and select next. And now the system is going to search for my printer. It's going to try to detect my printer. Okay, so here is my printer. Okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and select next. All right, and so now it's telling me to connect my printer via the Wi-Fi, which is here. So I'm going to go ahead. Let me. I'm going to actually select other connection. Let's see. And I'm going to select Wi-Fi connection, and then I'm going to click on next. Connection was successful, and now it's going to go ahead and download the software and the drivers. Connection settings and installation complete. You are now able to print. Woo -woo. So I'm going to go ahead and select next. And then it says, okay, let's get started. And to go to the website, um, when you click on go to website, the software will close. So I'm just going to click this. And then the website is going to populate. And you can see the softwares that we can use for printing with our Canon Image Pro Grab TM240. We have Poster Artist, Free Layout Plus, Direct Print Plus, and Canon Print, which I have already. But I'm going to check these out at a later date. Right now, I just want to go ahead and test print using our new printer my new printer whoop, whoop. <laughs> let go all right so i came back down to the printer and i got a new notice and it's telling me that there is no paper and that i need to load paper also with the first initialization there was quite a bit of my ink used up so i know that i'm definitely gonna have to be up on some more ink cartridges but that's okay long as this print good i'm good with that so now let's go ahead and load up some paper and let's get our first print going all right y'all so i'm so sorry for all of the moving of the camera i'm one person trying to record and make sure i get everything for y'all so i'm so sorry so here is the spindle okay we have our right side here and then our left side is this piece right here. But before we can attach this, we have to load our paper, okay? So this is the right side. So you wanna make sure that when you're rolling, ro loading your media, that your paper is falling over like a waterfall, okay? So like this, right? So now, just wanna make sure. So I'm going to take, this end and slide it in side of my core of my media like this so that it is folding over and then bringing this all the way down to the end. Okay, just like so. All right, so now I'm going to take this end and right here, there's a lever, right? You open it up and then you will close it like that, all right? So what I'm going to do is just put this at the end, slide it in. Blue side, this blue mechanism is always on the outside, all right? I'm gonna bring this all the way in. This is a 17 inch satin photo paper, okay? Now I'm going to take this lever and then I'm going to close it into place like that. All right, so open, lock. All right, hopefully you guys can see. Okay, so you wanna make sure that you have it in the right way, okay? So my right is on my right hand side, my left is on my, uh, my left holder is on my left hand side and then I have my paper falling like a waterfall. So now I'm just going to go ahead and insert this back inside, 
Okay. Bring you guys here. Okay. And then you want to roll the media. And then roll it. And then you want to slide it into the slot. Okay. Until it can't go no more. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead. Oh, it is something. I don't think I loaded it in right, y'all. Okay. So, yeah, I didn't load it in right. So I'm going to try it again. Take this. It's a little bit different from my Epson printer. And I'm just going to push this in. And now it says feeding the paper. Okay, good. So you want to feed it in until you hear the printer start to make the um, sound of it feeding the paper through. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and close this up. And now it says paper shown. Please select the paper you want to feed from the list. Okay. So now I'm going to I'm just going to click on this drop down arrow. All right, and I have photo paper. And I have the satin photo paper to. Uh oh, I forgot which one I had. Let me go check real quick. <laughs> All right, so I have the satin photo paper 200 GSM, 17 inches. All right, so here I'm going to select. Satin photo paper 200. All right. Let's see what it does. We got some action going on here. All right. It's saying that it's feeding the paper. Let's see. All right, so it's telling me that I have my 17 inch roll satin photo paper 200, 103 feet long, baby. All right, we good to go. Whoop, whoop. Let's get to printing. To test out my first print, I am going to be using Affinity Designer and I'm going to be using a image from a photo shoot that my husband and I had preparing for our wedding and I am using a canvas size of 17 inches in width by 22 inches in height and I'm going to be printing borderless. I'm going to find the printer, select the printing properties and then go ahead and adjust all of the printing preferences by selecting the kind of paper I'm going to be using, making sure the quality is set to high quality I am going to be turning on print preview and making sure that borderless printing is turned on once all of those are set I am going to go ahead and print out this image All right, y'all, so it cut off. I missed it because I turned my camera off for just a few seconds and then it fell into the basket. And let's take a look at it. O-M-G. I'm trying to hold it up so y'all can see. O-M-G. Look at this. Whoa! Woo-wee! This right here, this print quality right here, baby. Stop playing. Stop playing. I got my hand prints on this. And you know what? I did order some gloves and the gloves are upstairs. So be careful with satin photo paper, any kind of photo paper, fine art paper with your fingerprints and the oils. But y'all, this right here, Game changer. Stop playing.